In this video, we'll discuss one of the machine learning indicators that is quite popular among traders. Apart from its user-friendly nature, this machine learning indicator demonstrates fairly good capability in providing buy and sell signals in the market. The machine learning indicator we'll delve into today is logistic regression, and the good news is, this machine learning indicator can operate on all time frames, starting from 1 minute, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, and other time frames. That's why the trading strategy we'll discuss in this video can be utilized for scalping, day trading, or swing trading, moreover, this trading strategy can also work with all assets such as Forex, Gold or XAUUSD, cryptocurrencies, and other assets. Therefore, make sure you stick around till the end of this video, and don't forget to support us by liking and subscribing to this channel. In this example, we will use the Logistic Regression Machine Learning Indicator with a 15-minute scalping method on the GBP-USD pair. To utilize this trading strategy, you can enter Trading View. Then, go to the Indicator Search tab. In the Indicator Search tab, type Machine Learning Logistic Regression and simply select Machine Learning Logistic Regression from Capissimo. After that, go to the Settings tab of the Logistic Regression Machine Learning Indicator. You can adjust many aspects in this indicator settings tab. Some of them include the lookback window. If you change the number in the lookback window, the indicator will give signals based on the number you input. However, if you want to change it, the minimum number that can be used is 2 and above. Then, you can also change the number in the normalization lookback. If you change this number, the signals provided by the indicator will also change according to the number you input. Like the lookback window, the numbers you input here are from 2 to 240. And you can also change the numbers in other parts of this indicator. However, in this example, we will only change the settings in the signal filter section. In this section, there are several options you can choose from. For example, you can choose to calculate the indicator based on volatility, then you simply choose volatility, and the indicator will provide signals based on market volatility. Or you want to choose based on volume, then simply select the volume section. In this example, we will use the option in the both section. If you choose the both section, the signals will be filtered based on market volatility and volume. Then click OK to confirm the changes. As you can see, these are the signals from the indicator based on the settings we have applied. Blue arrow indicates a buy signal, while red arrow indicates a sell signal. And as a trend filter in the market, you can also add one more indicator. Go to the indicator search tab and type extreme trend. Then, simply select extreme trend from CACRA stocks. After that, enter the settings of the extreme trend indicator. In the Style tab, deactivate the Shape option. Then, change the color of the EMA200 according to your preference. In this example, I will use white for the EMA200. Then, click OK to confirm the changes. The white line represents the EMA200. The blue line indicates the bullish trend line. Meanwhile, if the trend line is yellow, it indicates a bearish trend position. If this trend line is blue and above the EMA 200, it signals a bullish trend, and your main focus should be on finding the best points to place by orders. Conversely, if this trend line is yellow and below the EMA 200, it indicates a bearish trend, and your main focus should be on finding the best points to place sell orders. Now, let's discuss how to place buy and sell orders using this indicator. Placing a buy order, 1, if this trend line is blue and above the EMA 200, it indicates a bullish trend. In this position, your focus is to find the best point to place a buy order, 2. Wait for a buy signal to appear from the logistic regression machine learning indicator, 3. Once the buy signal appears, ensure that the formed candlestick is bullish, 4. If all conditions are met, you can place a buy order after the bullish candlestick is closed, 5. Place a stop loss below the buy signal arrow, 6. 
use a target take profit with a risk and reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. Placing a sell order, 1. If this trend line is yellow and below the EMA 200, it indicates a bearish trend. In this position, your focus is to find the best point to place a sell order, 2. Wait for a sell signal to appear from the Logistic Regression Machine Learning Indicator, 3. Once the sell signal appears, ensure that the formed candlestick is bearish, 4. If all conditions are met, you can place a sell order after the bearish candlestick is closed, 5. Place a stop loss above the sell signal arrow, 6. Use a target take profit with a risk and reward ratio of 1 to 1 1.5. For better results, you can try the second method. In this second method, you'll add one more indicator to observe momentum in the market. Go to the Indicator Search tab and type Squeeze Momentum Indicator. Then, simply select Squeeze Momentum from Lazy Bear. After that, enter the settings of the Squeeze Momentum Indicator. In the Input tab, leave it at the default settings. Then, go to the Style tab. In the Style tab, deactivate the plot for the second plot. Then, adjust the color settings for the second plot as I did. Once done, click OK to confirm the changes. If the squeeze momentum bars are green, it indicates bullish momentum. Whereas, if the squeeze momentum bars are red, it indicates bearish momentum. Meanwhile, if the bars are empty, it can be said that there's no dominant momentum. Now, let's discuss how to place buy and sell orders using this second method. Here's how to place buy and sell orders using the second method, placing a buy order. 1. If this trend line is blue and above the EMA 200, it indicates a bullish trend. In this position, your focus is to find the best point to place a buy order. 2. Wait for a buy signal to appear from the Logistic Regression Machine Learning Indicator. 3. Once the buy signal appears, ensure that the formed candlestick is bullish. 4. As confirmation, ensure that the squeeze momentum bar is also green. 5. If all conditions are met, you can place a buy order after the bullish candlestick is closed. 6. Place a stop loss below the buy signal arrow, 7. Use a target take profit with a risk and reward ratio of 1 to 1 1.5. Placing a sell order, 1. If this trend line is yellow and below the EMA 200, it indicates a bearish trend. In this position, your focus is to find the best point to place a sell order. 2. Wait for a sell signal to appear from the Logistic Regression Machine Learning Indicator. 3. Once the sell signal appears, ensure that the formed candlestick is bearish. 4. As confirmation, ensure that the squeeze momentum bar is also red. 5. If all conditions are met, you can place a sell order after the bearish candlestick is closed. 6. Place a stop loss above the sell signal arrow, 7. Use a target take profit with a risk and reward ratio of 1 to 1 1.5. Remember to maintain your money management and trading psychology, as no trading strategy can guarantee a 100% success rate. That wraps up this video, and I'll see you in the next one.